think letters are important because they require uh, care and thought and emotion and uh, consideration in a way that an email never really can. None of it is quite as real as when you commit something to paper. What goes into writing a letter, the effort and the inability just to press delete immediately when you're halfway through? The minute you actually say what a letter can do and you show what a letter can do, people say, oh yeah, I remember letters. It's a dignified way of um, conveying how you feel to someone else and, you know, there being a sort of record of it, you know, that will always stand unless they tear it up, in which case they're probably shit bags anyway and it doesn't matter. Somebody's true sentiment comes across more, plus their personality. I think that's, that's the magic of the letter, is that the true self is revealed. When you're writing, you come through that implement. And sometimes, if you reread it, you'll find that your handwriting changes according to your emotion or what needs to be said. And the person reading that will also see that, will see that bit of communication. It's a testament to the way you were feeling a snapshot of a particular moment. It's the most intimate form of communication. There is the radio right down the lug hole, the television in the eye holes, the letter directly into the mind. There's so much more weight to it because as you write and the, the, the sort of ink hits the page. It, it is actually like a piece of you coming out, not, not like typing on a keyboard. That, that's, you're so removed, but you know, the style of your writing, whether it's joined up or not, all these things people can read into your character. I, I, I read a lot from people's writing and it's such a shame to have that sort of taken away from me now because I, I did used to, you know, I could tell if someone was a psycho just by their writing before and that's all gone. The type that we're typing with is just the same universally. They say, don't they, that some transition occurs between uh, the consciousness and the written word. Like that something happens that don't happen when you just uh, enunciate, announce or speak. Like when you write it out, it's like it goes through some process. I think we write letters in a totally different way to emails. So the thing about emails is that you, you sort of feel you have to respond instantly. If you don't reply within um, a day, people assume you're dead. And it's a beautiful thing to hold. I've kept all my letters from the 1970s onwards. Every time you write a letter to someone else, you are kind of writing a letter to yourself in the future. And it's just really good to get that stuff down on paper because, believe me, as you get older, you will forget stuff. It's such a thrill to get a letter. It hardly ever happens now. It's either something from the Inland Revenue or it's a wedding invitation or um, a bill. It's very rarely a handwritten letter. The idea of putting something in an envelope, putting a stamp on it, and knowing it's going to take a day or even two to get somewhere, and that there's no rush, and if you're going to write back, it'll take a couple of days, and I think it's something rather lovely, and it's so much nicer to keep something like that that's tangible that you can hold. I have to say, it's, it's my favourite thing. It's been a long time. I suppose I should write one to receive. <laughs>